Hey, darling. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're actually uh, in the hole here, putting the head together on our Volvo. And I just realized, if you go back in time, you go to episode 129 and 130, it's an identical job that I'm doing. I was gonna film us uh, installing our rocker arms here. We've got lifters to put in. Our head's already on. Here, let me show you. So our head's back on. I got a lot more cleaning to do here. I got our fuel rail in. It's even the same hole from those videos right here, the same uh, injector hole that had the problem. I don't know why, but it seems like water comes in. This is where it ends up. I don't know if there's a channel or something in here that brings it all to this hole, but that's always the case. Anyway, we actually have uh, a couple pursuits to look at here. We got the 246 and the 266. That's what I want to show you because they're both here and they're both dual console boats and they're actually pretty cool little boats. I like the, uh, the pursuit style and all the new stuff that they're putting in them. So let's go check them out. <laughs> Okay, let's start with this 246 here. This is a smaller of the two. Take a line. They look pretty similar. The tops look the same. The inside's gonna be a little bit different here. So this is a 2022. We got a single 300 on her. Of course, it's gonna be brand new with our electric steering. Don't mind the mess here. They're rigging it, and I think they're putting a tank in it for the crapper or something. So let's jump on it and take, take a look. So looking at the back right away, you can see some subtle differences here. This is hinged where you can walk around it. Pretty cool idea. So this whole area back here is basically a walkway if you want it to be, so there's no transom you fall into anymore. Yeah, ski pole holder here. Sure, I'm not gonna lift this up, but storage, you know, ice chest, bait well right there. I don't wanna mess with any of his tools. Like all pursuits here, you got a rear door, you got self bailing right here. Big drain for if you take on some water. I don't know what this is, a little station for something. Oh, it's a little sink. Got two cup holders, cushion there. It's a floating sink too, look. It's kind of cool. This kind of sticks out on the edge there for you. It's not going to have any generator in it. That's just going to be your valves for your bay well, stuff like that down there. Seat, seat. You have more seating here. So yeah, here's our tank, which looks like he's mounting down here for our bathroom here. Yeah, he's got a bunch of stuff in here. So this boat is pretty similar to the other one we're going to look at. So you get the idea here. There's a little bit of subtle differences, but you have a full bathroom. We're gonna have uh, Garmin's on our dash here, JL Audio. So you got killer stereo in all pursuits. Your switch panels here, Yamaha gauge. I'll try not to fall in the hole here, but you got more storage here. Of course, behind the dash here. And then you got storage under your seats. It has a windlass. You got table base right there. Walk through window. You got full top on it here. And looking up on the top, you got rod holders, of course, anchor light, VHF antenna, stereo antenna, and you can put anything you want up here, obviously, if you if you want to add any accessories. But it also has Isinglass all the way around it, so you can cover the whole boat up, just like all pursuits. A couple of things I like about these boats, they paint the dash the same color, the whole console is the same color as the boat. And something's pretty new on these boats storage underneath here and this seat you can see it's on a slider right here slides all the way out and becomes a lounger it's a cool idea too I like all pursuits new diamond stitching and stuff that they put in everything it's nice all right let's jump off this uh, 246 here we'll go right next door to the 266 so looking at this hole it's very very similar just a little bit bigger this one's also blue and not gray but it has the same kind of windshield lines same style top, everything on it. But in the back here, you got two 200s instead of one 300. A little bit more power here. I didn't mention that before, but both boats do have trim tabs. You got a dive ladder here. So this boat is a 2023. One major difference here, steering. We have a non-electronic steering going on here because these 200s have to have rams. They don't have the new style uh, electric steering for the smaller four-cylinder engines here. Let's jump on here. You can see too that it doesn't have that splash wall cover on it. We can look at this one because this one's sold but it's done. So yeah, basically a big ice chest here. Well, your water fills underneath there. Bait well. Boat's obviously also self-bailing. 
got the big drains in the back. And more seating, seating, more seating, basically all the way around here, except for on this side, which you have rod storage. Notice this too, what is it? Huh. It's like a drink holder or a holder for stuff in between our seats. We've got it on both sides. A clever idea. I'm going down to our starboard side here. Fresh water, raw water outlet, fire extinguisher. Like I said, we got rod holder storage. We'll take a look inside of our bilge here. So of course we're gonna have fuel filters, you got your bait well pump. There's a raw water pump right there. They're using the bait well pickup on the bottom to feed your raw water here. These are all just drain drains for all of our deck stuff. So you got one there, you got one there, and you got a T for different drains around the boat here that feed into it. And then you got both your batteries down here and your fresh water tank, which still has any freeze in it. You can see the pinkness of it. And then right where I'm sitting, this is access to your fuel tank, the top of it, where the senders are and everything, so you can get to it if you need to work on it. Close this down. Of course, you're going to have speakers all over the place. All jail audio stuff. Oh, more storage. Got you a bucket in here. And a little bucket holder piece, too. That's kind of cool. What does it do? Oh, it's a slider. That's clever. That thing doesn't rattle around in there. Must be access to get into the side of the boat for something. Probably fuel system. There's charcoal filters and stuff in there. All right next door, our normal switch panel for pursuit. We got another big speaker there. That's our subwoofer. We got underneath our chair on the. Uh, oh, this must be. Yeah, more storage. I think that's actually like a little cooler spot. It's insulated. Speaker. You got upper and lower courtesy lights top and bottom cup holders here for this seat that's nice too they put a little side bolster here so you're not leaning against the fiberglass so we'll go back over here to our starboard side and we got a sink cutting board magnetic our captain's chair here which is fully adjustable on the pedestal here got a bunch of storage over here fire extinguisher by the driver all the new EX Yamaha stuff. Basically the same switch panel as the other boat over there. Well, it looks like we have a stereo antenna wire, but no stereo. Now that be something uh, that we're missing right now. There's lots of back ordered parts. We got Yamaha gauge, the big Garmin. Of course, it's going to have that plate to make everything flush mount looking. Your little pursuit emblem here. Compass, same thing with the uh, color match dash here. The console's blue. Over to our port side here. Looks like we got more storage. Lots of storage here. Drawers. Right next to our seat. Another side bolster. Nice. Cup holder. Let's go into our bathroom here. Oh, in the door. You also have a little glove box for the passenger. So this is basically the same bathroom as the other one over there. You can see a little bit better now. Pretty simple. You just got a sink, a little bit of storage, toilet paper, that kind of stuff. And a fully functional uh, toilet here. I didn't even notice. There's also a mirror in here. Let's close that up. Go into our floor here. And looks like lots of storage. So it looks like we have another valve here for more drains for everything. And there's your overboard discharge for the crapper tank. Looks like you got your fresh water pump in here. There's that macerator pump for the toilet. And looking forward, there's the crapper tank itself right there. All the way up front. And here's all of our rails right here for the front sunshade that comes with the boat. You basically just put poles there, extend it out. Looks like though. There's four poles here, that means there's a rear one too. Ah, yep. So, this boat has a front and rear shade. Here's our make fast uh, holders for those. Yeah, if you look at our top here, this thing doesn't have electronics either. You just have your VHF, AM, FM, anchor light here. But up front, you can see those little pieces right there. Those guys right there. That's what holds those uh, Hold the canvas on with those poles that are in that compartment down there. That way you can basically shade everything back here. 
and the whole front of the boat. Make one big canopy over it. And we also have spreader lights on the front and the back. I like the look too of this big heavy bar that they're using for everything here to set the windshield in. It's pretty cool, all powder coated. It's all matching with our big bars on the top here. It's a nice look to the boat. Let's open up our center window. Oh, you got a windshield wiper for the driver. That's nice. And you've got an armrest here on the front. I didn't notice that before. More speakers, a table base here. These lift up forward for storage. Let's see, here's more of those uh, holders for the poles, two different styles. Now you got Sirius your radio antennas right there, and a full windlass with a remote. Oh, I think we missed something. Close off our door here, and look at that, more storage. There's our table leg base. This looks like, uh, oh, that's cool. These are center cushions. So you can fill in this center piece right here. You can see right here, there's a cutout. So they fit in there, you lift those cushions up and you stick those down. And then you got one big giant center piece here. You can lay up front. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little mini tour of uh, both of our little pursuits here, the dual consoles. Both pretty cool little boats. I definitely uh, like the design and the layout of them. Very functional and useful. Got any questions? Feel free to hit me up in the comments. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching. And I will see you next time. Later. What do we have here? Looks like a brand new Tierra. Twin 600s. Oh, there's a 456. Oh, there's a 408. What's over here? It's a 36XO. Another big boat. Wait, what? Another Tierra. Oh, and one more 456.